man, flashbacks to 2018, 2019, when this guy was in the news for his character issues and uh, just jumped around from team to team, eventually got traded to, to the Raiders and then called Mike Mayock a cracker and eventually got traded to the Patriots and released by the Patriots. No one wanted him. So suspended by the NFL by Roger Goodell is going to, that suspension is going to end in week eight. It's week seven right now. It's going to end in week eight. He is eligible to sign with any NFL team. And at this point right now, the Seattle Seahawks are contenders for Antonio Brown. Why, you ask? They brought him in for some workouts here and there in the past. Also, Russell Wilson has been training with Antonio Brown in summer workouts. So Brown, who looks like he's in shape from the summer workouts, still wearing his Raiders helmet. He looks like he's good to go and is going to be the next Seattle Seahawk at this point. Adam Schefter of ESPN stated that there are many more teams in the process of signing Antonio Brown. We don't know which teams those are. The only teams that we know for sure are the Seattle Seahawks. Some other teams that we would want to talk about, we're going to get to those. We have three specific teams besides the Seattle Seahawks we're going to mention, but kind of leaning towards the Seahawks, if Brown were to sign with the Seattle Seahawks, I'm sorry, man. I, I think the Seahawks team is Super Bowl bound. Right now, they're looking amazing, better than ever. DK Metcalf is the next big thing at the wide receiver position. And you add an Antonio Brown. I don't think Antonio Brown is going to get uh, um, tons of yards and receptions or, or anything, but he's going to be a good decoy for people like DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. So even if Antonio Brown has lost a step, he's going to do wonders for the Seattle Seahawks in that process. Top three, think about that. Top three receivers. For the Seattle Seahawks, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Antonio Brown, whichever order you want to put them in, this Seahawks team will be amazing if they sign Antonio Brown. Defense needs a lot of help, but it doesn't really matter if you sign Brown and your offense can score touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. So the Seahawks would be incredible for Antonio Brown. Other teams that we want to talk about, I don't know. Antonio Brown's interest with many of these teams because you may want to sign with someone with the best chance of making the Super Bowl like the Seattle Seahawks. But three teams we really not we really needed to focus on that need that wide receiver help. Let's start off with the Green Bay Packers. In the thick of things, could make the Super Bowl. They have a great team. Had that one game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers where they did not look that good, but they're able to rebound and they're still in contention of making the Super Bowl. This team desperately needs wide receiver help. They wasted that first... I don't want to say wasted because I don't know how it's going to turn out. But that first round pick on Jordan Love is not working out for them right now in the moment, in the current, in 2020. So they need that wide receiver after Devin Funchess opted out of COVID-19 speculation. He opted out of the 2019 season or the 2020 season. And Devontae Adams is basically the only good wide receiver that they have. Alan Alan Lazard is currently injured. And Marquez Valdez-Scantling has been a kind of a disappointment at this point. So adding that number two wide receiver and Antonio Brown will do amazing things for Aaron Rodgers in that passing game. They already have a run game. They already have a good passing game and what they can work with because you have Aaron Rodgers, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Adding an Antonio Brown with Devontae Adams side by side or opposite sides, that's a dream come true. That's something that's like something that you would see in Madden. So Antonio Brown signing with the Green Bay Packers would be pretty awesome to see. Another team that we want to talk about that could be in conversations with Antonio Brown was in conversations uh, of trade talks prior in 2019 during the 2019 offseason with the Pittsburgh Steelers, the San Francisco 49ers. Why not? They always seem to need offensive weapons or get some offensive weapons you could make the argument that they're fine this is not their biggest priority I understand it's not okay they need some help with the injuries that they have on defense they could use some defensive help you have Debo Samuel coming back from an injury Brandon Ayuk looks like he's going to be a good player in the NFL you're fine but if you add in Antonio Brown is that really going to hurt if he gets over the character issues Think of the things that Antonio Brown could do with this offense with Kyle Shanahan and his creativity. Okay, we saw it with uh, Debo Samuel, how he came up to uh, being one of the better wide receivers in the NFL with his breakout season last season was because of the creativity that Kyle Shanahan created and the opportunities that he created for Debo Samuel in that 49ers offense. Did the same thing with Brandon Ayuk. 
used him in the run game, used him in the pass game. He's been used in special teams a couple times as well. So Kyle Shanahan just has a knack for this. He's able to just just look at people's strengths, look at his players and his strengths, and really expound on their strengths. And Antonio Brown could be a good wide receiver that he could use in the passing game, dare I even say, in the running game as well, if we were to see that with the way that he's been using Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. So Brown to the 49ers, do you guys believe that it's a possibility? Interact with us, chat with us, comment down below. Let us know, is that a possibility, a new target for Jimmy Garoppolo? The last team that might be contenders to sign Antonio Brown, I think this is a no-brainer. I don't think this is a surprise, but the Philadelphia Eagles should be in pursuit of getting Antonio Brown. Reason being is because of the, the injuries that they had on that Eagles offense, okay? I don't care what you say, what anybody says. If you don't agree with this, you may not watch a lot of football, but Carson Wentz is still a capable starting above average quarterback in the NFL. He's not the problem in Philadelphia. And if you disagree, listen, I don't know what else to tell you. Just wait until he gets his receivers back. Just wait until he gets his offensive line back. All the injuries, he needs a lot of help on that team. That's all I'll say. And Antonio Brown would be a great help for that Eagles team. Alshon Jeffrey continues to be inactive week after week after week. When you think he's so close to playing, He's inactive. Tonight against the New York Giants, he's going to be inactive. Deshaun Jackson will finally be playing after suffering an injury, and he'll be back into the starting lineup. Jalen Rager, they're waiting for him to come back. It's going to be another couple weeks before he's back. Zach Ertz just got hurt. Out four to six weeks is on IR. He could also potentially be traded, but we'll be talking about that later on once we get to the trade deadline portion of this show. Dallas Goddard, currently, right now, he is injured. Could be using another couple weeks to get back up to speed before he is back into that Eagles lineup. So this team could use a lot of help currently, right now. So if they want to make a move to sign Antonio Brown, I would say nothing more than vet minimum to sign Antonio Brown, which at that point, I don't know if he's going to agree to that. But if they were to sign him veteran minimum, That would be amazing for the Philadelphia Eagles because, like I mentioned, the injuries and then Marquise Goodwin, a guy that they traded for, is out because of COVID-19. So, Antonio Brown to the Eagles. Is that a possibility? Comment down below. And out of all these teams, which one do you believe he has the best chance of signing with? Me, personally, I believe it's the Seattle Seahawks. But interact with us. Let us know. What's your opinion?